Round two. Hi. What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I wanted to make a follow up video to my $200 resin 3D printer versus a $200 FDM 3D printer video that I posted a few weeks back. A large number of you commented and let me know that you can actually print at 0.08 millimeters over on the Ender 3 with the stock. 0.4 millimeter nozzle. That is a lot of points something something or others that I'm following up with here. But I had no idea. I had literally no idea that you could do that and I thought it was pretty dang cool. So I've run off and reprinted a few of the models that I was using in the original test and I wanted to recompare them again today. And I'll also be doing one additional result because I no longer have the MP Mini. Uh, I'll be comparing that to the Elgu Mars on one of these prints just so that you can see with a printer that actually, a resin printer that actually prints really nicely how that stacks up at printing at 0.08 millimeters on the Ender 3. I was pretty impressed, so let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna start things off with the Nine-Tailed Demon Fox. This turned out very nice, other than the fact that on the Ender 3, I could not, I printed this multiple times, could not get this to actually successfully print. Uh, this ended up happening, basically failing on one of the tails at least three times here. On the left hand side, you'll see the MP Mini and where I was showing off before as well, where in some cases the tail was actually doubling up. What I think is really interesting here isn't to compare the resin to the Ender, it's actually the Ender at 0.1 to 0.08. There is a lot more detail that this is picking up at 0.08 and it's not, still not as smooth as I'm getting from a resin print, but it's a really big improvement, even though the tail here is failing on this particular print. Also, here's a comparison of the MP Mini print that I did previously versus the Elgu Mars that printed pretty much flawlessly here. Uh, there's no tail separation or doubling or tripling in some cases and all of the details just turned out super crisp and clear on this particular print. All right, I also wanted to take a look at the Loki bust here, and this is on the Ender 3 at 0.08 millimeters. Uh, this print came out so dang nice. I'm super impressed with this, and I again had no idea that you could print at this level of detail on an FDM printer with that stock 4.0 millimeter nozzle. This again is the print off of the MP Mini. I did not reprint this on the Elgu Mars uh, just because I thought this turned out pretty dang nice, and as you see here my little turntables are not spinning at the same speed <laughs> as each other. <laughs> And finally, I wanted to show off a new print that I have done. I, you might have seen this file from another one of my videos. This is the Cast and Play Mimic Treasure Chest. I absolutely love this file. I think it's just so cool looking to have uh, printed or printable and the detail on it is just outstanding. Some of the small details that you're gonna see on the tongue. This was printed on the Elgu Mars at 0.05 millimeters, uh, and this was printed on the Ender 3 at 0.08. And I believe the Ender 3 came out absolutely stunning. So I'm very, very impressed with the ability to print at this layer height. Obviously anything that you're printing at this level of detail, you're gonna have to slow the printer way down so your print time is gonna go way up. But I'm super impressed with what I'm seeing in the the ability to be able to print like that on the Ender 3. So if you are printing miniatures or small things, uh, if you're interested in trying it at 0.08 millimeters, I'll include some of my my profile settings that I was using uh, in, in the video here that you can actually work with. I'll also have links to all of the files here. Again, this Mimic file is so dang cool. Uh, definitely check this out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So again, something just really simple and fun that I wanted to share with you guys. I thought this was a pretty cool re-look at one of the videos that I had previously done based on some of the feedback that you guys have left me. Man, there's an ongoing theme with a number of my videos that I've been posting lately around feedback that you guys have been providing, which is absolutely great. That's what I love about you folks out there commenting on the videos and letting me know about new things that I did not know about previously, like being able to point at, print at 0 0.08 millimeter layer height. That is just insane. I wonder how long it would take me to print an actual helmet or something at that layer height. Probably a very, very long time. We're probably looking at like a week just for a small face plate on the Ender 3. But if you enjoyed the video, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, again, the Ender 3 being able to print at this layer height is pretty 
dang cool. It's very, very impressive. So if you're out there printing miniatures, that's honestly a great solution for you. And if you're interested in going resin route, obviously you're gonna get even better detail with that. But for the price point, the Ender 3 and being able to print even larger things might be a better deal for you, who knows? But it's all up to what you're printing. Hey, I just wanna say thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think again down in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye now. <laughs>